Two jailed members of the Russian punk protest group Pussy Riot have been freed from prison. President Vladimir Putin pardoned the women as part of a wider amnesty, but they say their release is a PR stunt ahead of the Winter Olympics in Sochi in February. And uh, Jane Deeth has this report. They were the protest group who burst into a Moscow cathedral, attacking the church's support for President Putin. They were convicted of hooliganism motivated by religious hatred. Yekaterina Samitsevich on the left was freed last year. Today, Maria Alakina was granted freedom. But she didn't want Russia's pardon. I wanted to reject this amnesty, she told reporters, but the prison was ordered to let me go. She said she would fight on, warning, I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Later, leaving a Siberian prison, Nadezhda Tolokonikova dismissed Putin's show of Christmas spirit as a cold-hearted ploy. They just put on another show ahead of the Olympics. Such is their desire to stop European countries boycotting the Russian Olympics. As for me, this is just the beginning. It's a very thin line between freedom and lack of freedom. Freedom is always very relative in a totalitarian state. And she's not been shown much mercy. She was only spared two months of her two-year sentence. But the prisoner amnesty, which has also seen former oil tycoon Mikhail Khodorkovsky freed after more than 10 years in prison for fraud, is seen as an attempt to dampen criticism of Russia's human rights record. A prominent member of parliament said the prisoner releases should steal the West's thunder. In regards to the image of Russia and the relations with our Western partners, I think it removes certain irritants in our relations. I don't think it'll be a decisive factor, though, because those forces that promote confrontation with Russia, they'll find other pretexts. Greenpeace's Arctic 30 are also hoping the prisoner amnesty means charges over an oil rig protest will be dropped. They're on bail, but it doesn't look like they'll be home in time for Christmas. Pussy riots say their punk days are over. They're going to fight for political prisoners' human rights. That won't be easy. Vladimir Putin's been using new laws to crack down on campaign groups. The president says the pardon of pussy riots got nothing to do with him. He's called them a disgrace. But perhaps actions speak louder than words.